Bible Hour, The Author's Viewpoint, October 18, 2024. My topic is on teeth or no teeth. I'm talking about this topic because of listening for so many times people talking negatively in regard to those who have teeth or no teeth. This sounds crazy. I shouldn't have to write about this topic, but I'm writing about it anyway. So read, and I pray that those who are in this position who have a medical problem, whether it's teeth or no teeth, or a medical problem, that you be encouraged by this message and scriptures regarding God's word. Be blessed. Bible Hour, the author's viewpoint for October 18, 2024. The topic is about teeth or no teeth. You know, to be honest, I shouldn't have to be writing about this, but when you listen to those who negatively talk about people either have no teeth or positive teeth or wear dentures. Now, some of the very ones who are so hung up on teeth and make jokes about people who don't have teeth and wear dentures probably have a mother or grandparent who don't have any teeth or wear dentures. And to be honest, some of you might have to wear dentures one day yourselves. Now, I'm not for anybody who has dentures and take them out in public while they are getting ready to dine or because that is showing no respect for others around you or yourself. I want to know what's the joke about people who have to wear dentures or have no teeth. There are so many things that are important in this world besides talking negatively about people who don't have teeth. Why don't some of you go educate yourselves about why some people have problems with their teeth? There are, for instance, diseases of the gum, which can start at an early age. There are other medical reasons. As I stated before, some of you need to educate yourself before you continue to talk negative about people who don't have all their teeth, no teeth, or wet dentures, or any other medical problem. I thank God for the person who invented dentures so people who are able to wear dentures can and be able to eat the different kinds of foods. But no one should ever have to feel fear because they don't have, they have partial teeth, no teeth, or wear dentures. Don't allow this to interfere with you enjoying your life and doing what you like to do. Don't allow anyone to make you feel that way no matter what kind of problem you have with your physical body. Above all this, go to God in prayer. God encourages us when we go through certain things. He gives you the strength and courage you need, no matter what it is when you go to God in prayer. And listen to some of you, some of these commercials and talk shows, and reality shows to talk negatively about people who have problems with God to this. Some of you to come right to it. The way you talk, you show that you have no class. That person might not have any teeth or partial or a dentures or medical problem that you joke about or take lightly, most likely have more class. Talking like this shows you have you have a lack of class. So you still need to mature as adults because it is apparent you don't know a lot about life. Because if you did, you wouldn't say some of the things you say about people who have a medical reason why they have lost their teeth or can't wear dentures or any other medical problem, condition they might have. It is too much into what somebody looks like, what they are wearing, instead of the person's heart. The person who has wisdom, that person who can resolve problems, who probably is a good leader. I remember a friend of mine telling me she didn't get a job because the person told her she needed to get her teeth fixed. That right there is discrimination. I hope she filed a complaint. This girl was a top A student in high school. Maybe the person who interviewed my friend, if they had hired her, she could have gotten her teeth fixed. This is part one. Continuing with part two, 
abide by all the author's viewpoint for October 2024, October 18th topic about tea for no tea, part two. Now, I too have partial tea, but I am definitely not allowing anyone to make me feel inferior or that they are better than I am. First of all, I am a child of the Most High God, and sometimes you have to wait on the Lord. I know that Jesus is my healer. Some people might have to pay for dental treatments and don't have the money, but not allow people to make you feel inferior. Enjoy your life. I am enjoying my life in the Lord. Walk in love anyway with those who talk like this and pray for them and being about God's business and what we need and I need to do in my life and for others according to his word. God cares about you. Man looks on the outward, but God looks on the inward of you. First Samuel 16, chapter 7, verse in the New International Version of the Old Testament, what the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus, Romans 8, chapter 37, verse. I hope that what I have written here has helped someone. Be blessed.